Good morning, traders. Hope you guys had a great weekend. I uh, want to go over uh, today. It's going to be a brief video. Uh, not a lot going on for me today. Uh, as you guys know, last week was pretty tough for me. So I'm trying to get comfortable again. And the last few days, I haven't necessarily been trading for money, for a lot of money. I've just been trading for experience and to get my emotions uh, calmed back down and you know back to objectivity. Having neutral emotions is key. Uh, as, as far as trading goes, guys, when you're feeling like too good, too good at trading, uh, start feeling like Superman, you know, your consistency is great. You just, you can't lose. You can't lose, essentially. That's when you mess up. You can really mess up and take a big loss uh, relative to your, you know, average uh, winning trade, kind of like I did last week, where it's like, okay, I'm, I'm trading, I'm trading well, uh, and then one just presents itself, and I don't want to take a loss. It just hurts my ego, which is a problem. Do not let your ego get in your way of your trading. Ego should be completely out of it, should be completely objective-minded when you're trading. Uh, and that's where I went wrong. So with that being said, last few days I've really been just focusing on objectivity and focusing on good setups, leaving my ego out of it, just trading what I see. The price action and volume are the two key variables that are the most important uh, when trading. And so in ERV, this one presented itself. I had shorts here with CMEG. Uh, if you guys are interested in CMEG, there's going to be a link in the description below. You can get 295 trades, guys. Uh, if you want to go to CMEG, they have shorts on a lot of stocks. So in ERV today, I pulled up, uh, and I did not trade this one pre-market. So I'm happy with that because in the past, I have traded some of these you know, in pre-market, and it's a liquid, and then they just move up really quick. Uh, and so it's a rule I created. Uh, once we find out you know, certain flaws that we may have, for example, I kept my winners too early. We put rules in place that will help us. Uh, so for example, I'll you know, scale out half because uh, that calms my emotions. It allows me to let some of that position ride out. Or for instance, a certain ticker, I'll fight it all day. Uh, if I keep losing on it, it's like, I want to get my money back. Let's keep fighting, fighting. So I put a rule in place. I will only take two losses on a ticker before I just move on uh, to the next best play. So in the RV today, uh, I had this pulled up. I had shorts. I waited for the market to open. I saw the high that it formed here, 825. I waited for that. I wasn't speculating, okay, where's the high going to be? Although we could pull it out on the daily chart, and it did have $8 as that 200-day moving average. So oftentimes it will break that and then retrace uh, below that, and that's what we saw here. So we saw it retrace, get a little pop back up, and, and that's when I took a short position. This is an easier type of trade uh, because when this pops on up after it's already formed a high of day, 825, a lot of shorts come into this risking that high of day. It's an easy risk area. It, it allows you to not necessarily get into that deer in headlights type of uh, mode. You'll just have your risk set and you will respect it, that predefined risk. Uh, which I did have there. So predefined risk, shorted it, came back down and uh, covered that position. Now we started uh, hovering under that VWAP. It was heavy under VWAP. I think it trapped a few shorts here. Popped on up, had a pullback, took a long position here, uh, and then sold into this pop back on up. I saw these lower shadows just getting a little lower. Uh, then we started falling back down. We had trapped some longs there, and then it popped up, took a short, and covered that uh, so three for three, but really, really small, guys. Really small. Just trying to get my emotions in check. Trying to trade neutral, objective-minded, and also just trying to get back to where you know I'm confident taking trade. Because last week I did not respect my risk, and so that's why today, for instance, I waited for this to pop back up, having that high date 825, and respecting that risk if it were to you know retest that area. Because you have to respect your risk. Uh, and, and I know I, you know, I preach predefine your risk every day, uh, mainly because I'm preaching to myself as well. You know, I will have defined risk and I'll respect it. But then that one trade where I just don't do that, the one trade, even if it's out of 50, the one trade I don't do it just wipes out all the gains. Uh, so it, it can be, it can be awful. Just you have to predefine risk. That's what we did here. Those were my trades on NERV. A few more popped up today that I really missed, guys. Really frustrated. EPZM, this was my type of trade here, up at 1659. This is just overextension to resistance that I look for. Had a really nice fade on it. Ended up missing that one. Popped up on the uh, intensity scanners here. If you guys want those, link in the description uh, below. Uh, then another one, PAAS. Both of these had shorts for here at CMEG. Uh, but the, traders, that's going to do it for today. Those are just going to be the trades there. 
Uh, not trading for money yet. Trading to get my emotions back in check. Trading to make sure I'm going to predefine this risk and respect it. Uh, so that's going to wrap up today. Let me know how you guys did in the comment section below. Three for three on the day. Pretty happy here. Don't forget to like that button. Hit that subscribe button, guys. Hit that little bell because it'll make a little ring for you when I come out with a video. And we will see you all first thing tomorrow.